Did you know that Paris is open? This is how it's gonna go. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Haley. I write for the travel blog, HaleyWithTheFlare.com. If you are new to this channel, please hit subscribe and don't forget to follow over here on social media. Paris reopened at the beginning of June, but there are a lot of fine print and technicalities. So I'm going to walk you through this experience today as we fly from Rochester to JFK and JFK to Charles de Gaulle. Let's do this. very smooth connection. We're at my favorite Sky Club in JFK. You guys have seen on the channel, I'll throw a card up here so you can see what it looks like if you don't, but uh, it's going very well. She does not know. We have an arrangement of snacks. Olympia and I are watching airplanes take off until our next flight. All right, so all you ended up needing was proof of your COVID test, your vaccine, and your passport is pretty straightforward. But I would recommend getting to the gate a little bit early to check in. There was a decent line when we got here and we got here about 35 minutes before boarding time. And we're even boarding 15 minutes later. So keep that in mind. Did you like your surprise? Yes, mm -hmm. I literally did. You ready to go? Yes. It's time. So overall, it seems like international first class travel is back to normal. We did book Delta One tickets for this. This is the older model on the Airbus, but we were back to getting served on China, unlimited drinks, all the nice things seem to be back and in working order. Delta did a phenomenal job. Both crews on both international flights were amazing. Olivia loved this. Here is the Toomey bag, accessory bag that comes with Delta One currently, but it was a great flight. So we made it down to the customs line and there's a red line, an orange line, and a green line. And even though online it says the United States is orange, they said we were now green, so we're in the green line and it's very long. So yeah, so they really didn't check anything here. They didn't even take our vaccine card, our test, they just stamped. I'm assuming that they are relying on the airlines that they're partnered with coming in here. Like you guys saw earlier at JFK where they checked the vaccine card, they checked the test card um, so that it doesn't hold up the customs line here. So we've spent about four hours finding a place to do our COVID test to go home. We were redirected between a few different places. It's kind of exhausting, but I'm gonna show you guys on a map on my post on my blog where we got hours done. You need to budget some time. And of course, always brush up on your French a little bit, but have your passports with you. Cause we got tested, we said to come back in 20 minutes to get our QR codes to go home. We're still waiting on it. It's kind of a slow moving process. So um, budget a couple of hours if that's gonna be your jam. So I pieced together a couple of my Paris clips as you can see, but now that I'm home, I have more of a sound mind and I'm not jet lagged. I just wanted to recap everything that was mentioned previously. So as of right now, even when I came home, I still see the United States on the orange list. Even though, like I referenced in the earlier part of the video, when we got there, they said we were green. Everything that I can see online still says that we're in the orange. So that means you still need to have a test 72 hours prior, even if you're vaccinated, and you're gonna have to show that at the airport. So the airport scene that you saw, you had to check in with your documents before they did official boarding. That way it's less congested at boarding because if there's people that don't have the right documentation, it's not gonna hold that up. When we got to Paris, got through customs, 
they didn't want to see anything. They just looked for our passport. And I'm assuming it's because we were in this green line. They just stamped the passport and we went on our way. The trickiest part of, I, I think, of the whole entire trip was finding a testing place to come home. So the United States does take antigen testing, even though it says PCR. I have now flown home from Paris and I've flown home from the Bahamas. The antigen testing is fine. You just have to scroll down on the CDC website. It's really wordy and it's really confusing. So there's a few different places that do testing throughout Paris. Like finding a testing location necessarily isn't difficult. Sometimes it was the availability because a lot of them are either walk-in or appointment only or they're only walk-in from certain times. I recommend talking to your hotel concierge and front desk about where to go. There is a link like I referenced below to where I went just to a basic pharmacy. When we showed up there, this was our third place we had went to because the first place, the walk-in times had already closed. The second place we went to didn't require appointments and it was gonna be hours. Like the line was wrapped around the building. The third place we went to, which is where one of my friends got their antigen testing, Said that they couldn't do our antigen testing to fly home that it wasn't okay we had to go to another pharmacy so we had to go to another one around the corner and they said that they weren't doing testing until 3 p.m so we ended up getting a snack at a restaurant waited an hour and then after that we had to wait another 20 minutes for results so that whole process is what took a couple hours <laughs> um, it's very confusing and a unique thing that i think is sometimes confusing for tourists but I think is really pleasurable about Paris is there is a lot of autonomy to the culture and the language and a lot of these forms there's no English side or French side it is all in French so having a translator with you if you're not fluent learning some French words especially you know please and thank you you know s'il vous plaît and merci goes a long way so you need to have a little bit of patience with that so when you go to get your testing, you do have to have your passport with you, like I referenced earlier, but it's a very easy process. Once all said and done, they gave us forms. We took pictures. We also got them to our email. And when you get to the airport, the biggest thing that I can tell you is you need to give yourself at least three hours to get through Charles de Gaulle. I have now been through Charles de Gaulle a few times and it is huge and it is kind of chaotic. We got to the airport about three hours ahead of time. And by the time we made it through security, made it to our gate, got our bags checked. I mean, we had to show our passport like four or five times. It was a little crazy. They were just boarding. Like they were just starting to board. Like there wasn't a lot of leeway time. A big perk that I will tell you about Delta is that once you got through the first part of the immigration par, uh, process of security, there was a sky priority. So if you have a higher first class book ticket or status with Delta, they had their own special security lines, which cut down a lot of time. So if I was in that other line, boarding would have been a little bit tricky. And because of the way that the world is working, you're either boarding at a gate, which I've done before. And for this trip, we had to take a bus shuttle over to board our plane out on the tarmac. It was just very wild. You need to give yourself a lot of time. So I hope that this video helps you. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video and check out the blog post for a very neat condensed form of what you need to do to travel to Paris. I cannot say enough things about traveling to Paris or France right now. Now is the time to go. We had Versailles almost to ourselves in the morning all by ourselves. Like right now is a great time to go to Europe because you're getting beautiful peak season weather without generally speaking all the crowds depending on your destination. I hope you guys will give it a try. If you need questions or need help booking also let me know as well. Until then I will see you next time. Bye guys.